Hello my friends, welcome back. In this lesson we're practicing Old MacDonald Had a Farm and by the end of this lesson you should be able to play it effortlessly and know how to play it from music as well. So I'm going to play this for you first and then I'm going to project the music on the screen so we can talk about short sections and we'll take it four bars at a time. So we're going to start on the D string with three fingers. Take a look first. So I'm hoping that you have observed that I alternate playing at the lower half and the upper half of the bow and that is how we practiced our G major scale in our, our last lesson if you remember. We're going to use that technique in Old MacDonald. So let me project the music on the screen now and I'll talk you through. Do play along with your instrument because I think that is the way you learn the fastest. I'm going to start on three fingers on the D string so if you feel that is helpful, then you might play D1, 2, 3 before you begin. I'm setting the bow ready to play at the heel of the bow and I'm going to play down bow. Now a down bow is that little square thingy that you see over the top of the first note. That means play in a down bow direction so your bow goes down. Up and down bows are easiest to see when I play open strings on the E string. A down bow goes from the heel to the point. See my bow goes down, so that's why it's called a down bow. And an up bow is when the bow goes up and it's indicated by a little V. We'll come across that later on in this music. Now this is only about the direction of the bow, but not the place where you should start the bow. So I could play a down bow at the point and an up bow at the heel, just so you know. In this song we're going to start down bow at the heel and we're going to play every quarter note with a half bow. So we'll count us in for four. One, two, three, four. Now we're playing the long bow. Lovely job. That brings you to the point of the bow. Now we're having one finger on the A string. So can you see my bow moves to the A string now? And half bows again. Two long bow, three. Carry on. Long bow. First finger on A, upper half of the bow. And at this point, something different is going to happen. You can see there is a dotted half note in your music. That means we're holding this note for three counts because the fourth count is another D. So we're having this last note here. Two, three. That was an up bow. Now I'm stopping the bow and I'm playing another up bow in the same direction, in other words. And that brings me to the heel of the bow so I can carry on playing, you see. So I'll show you that once again. 
The dotted minim, the dotted half note, goes from the point and holds for three counts. One, two, three. Then I'm stopping the bow, take my fingers away, and I'm playing an open D string with another up bow. See, two note bow strokes in the same direction. Stop. That's it. And that brings you to the heel of the bow. Now we can continue. When you play repeated notes like this, be careful, fingers often want to fall flatter on every next time you place them down. So listen carefully to the tuning here so that you stay nice and in tune. Okay, very good. And now we'll play the end of this song. Long bow again. One on A. Three, four. And that is amazing playing. Now, it may be that today that is a little bit challenging. That's okay. That will be challenging for a lot of you. That's totally fine. Just play it again tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and for the next three days and you'll find it gets easier and easier. We want to just think about the tuning of that third finger on the G string now for a moment and this is a general technique that you will be able to use in all of the music that you're going to be playing from this moment forward. So the third finger on the D string is called G, D, E, F sharp, G. Now when we play G, it should match in tuning with an open G string. Can you hear that? If I play those two notes together... They should blend in perfectly, shouldn't they? Similarly, if I play three fingers on the A string, they should blend in together with an open D string. And you've guessed it, if I play three fingers on the E string, that note should blend in with the open A string. Awesome. And I'd like you to experiment with this idea. Practice it every day so that you start to hear when the music sounds nicely together, when it blends in well. And you're not only practicing your fingers, but you're also practicing your hearing at the same time. So what an awesome lesson today. I wish you good luck with your practice. If you have any questions or comments, as always, of course, use the comment section down below this video. And can I suggest also to watch my YouTube shorts? I will put a link to one of my YouTube shorts in the corner there, so check it out. But if you go on the shorts page, you'll find lots and lots of technical exercises, such as the one I've just shown you. And you can really progress your technique by watching those videos. So go ahead and check those out. Thank you very much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you very soon. Goodbye.